la 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 Hello, hello everyone, it's me. A lot of people have been writing into the show because I was on last week and they were saying, what's your name, little bunny that cusses all the time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't cuss all the time. <laughs> so what's that coming to go? I'm not allowed to cuss because of, because I'm cute. Well, that's just uh -oh. discrimination. <laughs> what? It's only ugly people who are out of cuss. Make it up. I like cussing. Cussing's my thing. I come from a long line of cussing bunnies. My father liked to cuss. Oh, he Tootsie fruits. Loved it. <laughs> Ed. <laughs> Ed, you know who else likes to cuss? Um, mice. <laughs> You'd cuss if you was a mouse too, because there's all these creatures trying to eat you. That's why bunnies cuss too, because there's always like, oh, owl, or, or, or a what's that coming ago? Lion or something, <laughs> always trying to eat you. Ooh, la, la. French people, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a uh -oh. nightmare. <laughs> Everywhere you go, someone looked at you like you've got no skin on. <laughs> I'm skinning you with their eyes. <laughs> it's like, it's like you, it's like you're the first person that people see in a horror movie all the time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When the, the nice looking girl is like walking around the kitchen all humming music to herself and wearing a little tight costume. I got on that. Oh yeah, all up. Oh, there, there. Then the killer comes out. That's what it's like being a bunny all the Tootsie Fruits. time. <laughs> So consequently, anyway, I was going to tell you what my name was. Um, and here it is. Are you ready? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sid. <laughs> yeah, that's my name, Sid. Don't, don't Ooh, la -la. wear it out, all right? <laughs> and people say to me, where's your accent from, Sid? I'll tell you, North London. <laughs> and now a lot of people are surprised to hear that. <laughs> Because people were expecting me to come from a more rural environment. <laughs> North London is a fairly urban conurbation. And I appreciate your concern, but my family moved to North London from the country uh -oh. years ago now. <laughs> anyway, the upshot is you know my name. My name is Sid. I'm a bunny. I like to cuss. And I'd say Make it up, the haters. <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Bing. Stop searching, start deciding with Bing, the decision engine from Microsoft. excited about the fact that I'm wearing sneakers tonight. Wow! Wow! I know, when I came out, you're like, is that Ellen? <laughs> kind of. It's 
It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It's, it's a great day. It's a great day for me because I'm wearing sneakers on TV. <gasps> oh, no! Wait a minute, you're hosting a late-night talk show. You can't wear sneakers. Letterman wore sneakers on NBC in the 80s. Yes, but that does... Oh, he did. <laughs> I, what happened? I was in Vegas this weekend, and I had my... I put, normally, I wear heels when I'm in Vegas. <laughs> But I, I tried my sneakers on, I thought, these are comfortable. I should try it, and if they're waterproof, which apparently they are, I can wear them here. <laughs> anyway, so great, I'm gonna try I look forward to your letters, but you know, well, no, I, I, you know, when people get upset, but I'm gonna go like this. Because <laughs> I wear sneakers, I'm gonna go like that, yeah! I'm gonna the haters, that's what I'm gonna say. Right, Jeff? <laughs> oh, I'm scaring myself. Anyway, it's a great day for America, a great day for me wearing my sneakers, a great day for uh, the lovable sex bot Rush Limbaugh. He was married over the weekend. Sorry, ladies, he's off the market. Actually, this is his fourth marriage. He blames the first three breakups on Obama. And I heard the wedding. <laughs> The wedding was fantastic. They served 400 pounds of lobster, crates of champagne, a massive wedding cake. I don't know what the guests had, but that's what they were saying. <laughs> My sneakers have made me naughty. <laughs> Do you know who sang at uh, Rush Limbaugh's wedding? Elton John. I know. I was like, what? <laughs> According to Rush, gay people can sing at weddings, just not their own. Your sneakers have made you daring. Yes. I wonder if Elton John changed the lyrics to his songs. Uh, hang on, hang on, we'll get one. <laughs> All right. Hold me closer, Oxycontin. Greg, why did you sing that in an old man voice? My sneakers. Uh, over the weekend, there was a New York couple who got married while they were scuba diving in a shark tank. The bride said she was very worried about being devoured during the ceremony, just like the woman who married Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Uh, congratulations, Rush. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, I do. I'm a late night guy. It's my job. Right, Jeff? And that's why he gets the big bucks. I'll get some sneakers for him. I'll get, I'll, get some, I'll get you some sneakers, Jeff. Right. It's a great day if you like the iPhones. Have you heard of the iPhones? I have. I've got sneakers like me, young people. No, earlier today, the, the Apple computer warlord Steve Jobs made this big announcement. That's right, I said warlord. Steve Jobs like, what the? Yes, I said it. He unveiled the, the, uh, the iPhone 4G, which goes on sale in three weeks. It's, uh, the new iPhone's pretty cool. It has a, has a better camera, has higher resolution touch screen. The phone actually works sometimes. <laughs> I stay on top of the latest phones, especially when they're on vibrate, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, uh, what I'm saying is I get sexual gratification from sitting on phones <laughs> that are vibrating. Call me, everybody. <laughs> All the time. But the, the new gadgets have changed the way we communicate with the emails and the texting and the Twitter. We don't use uh, paper anymore, really. You're welcome, trees. <laughs> We've become a paperless society, except perhaps in Arizona. <laughs> in Arizona, you gotta have your papers. <laughs> papers, please. <laughs> man in sneakers like this. You know what I say, the haters. Don't do me. <laughs> oh no, I think my sneakers are gonna get me fired. Anyway, it's true, all my important communications these days are done electronically, you know, the electronity. Yeah, it's a word that us guys that wear sneakers use. 
You know, I do everything, you know, contracts, uh, meetings, uh, penis enlargement opportunities, everything. <laughs> Everything in paper is dying out, including newspapers. This is great for the environment, but alarming for some people. And by some people, I mean hobos. <laughs> like these people. Where, what will they use for blankets if there are no newspapers? Yes. Anyway, I've got, I've got, you know what I've got? I've got an iPad, that's what I've got, which is like an iPhone, but it's like the large print version of an iPhone. <laughs> it is, it's like an iPhone for old people. <laughs> it, I've got, it's, like, it's got a bigger screen, there are bigger buttons, there's an app that lets you find the nearest early bird special. <laughs> like, hey, oh, I got, look at this handy, convenient device. <laughs> you can download something called iPrunes. <laughs> You know what the iPad uh, is perfect for is navigation, because you can use it in cars, because watching the road is boring. <laughs> it is road, 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 turn, more road, more turning, turning, pedestrians, other cars, boring! <laughs> I was in Vegas this weekend, and on the drive back, I read an entire book on my iPad. <laughs> it was a very uh, short book. It was uh, by Mel Gibson. It was called uh, My Jewish Friends. <laughs> All right, no, no, it was another short book. It was, uh, <laughs> I could do all the old short books. Yeah, right, right, right. It was the Amish TV Guide. It was the, the Art of British Cooking. It was, uh, it was Larry King's Guide to a Happy Marriage. It was. All right, I think I'm done. I have to go and put on new sneakers during the commercial break. Which, uh, during this commercial break, there may be a commercial for sneakers. <laughs> no? Well, there's just been an eight and a half minute commercial for sneakers now, hasn't there? <laughs> We've, I've just done a nine minute commercial for sneakers. You're welcome, American footwear industry. <laughs> we'll take a break, we'll be right back. Jeff? Check the tweets and check the emails. <laughs> Euro crashes and Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check the tweets. Plus emails. Whoa! Don't go do 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 check the tweets. <laughs> All right, here's an email. This is from uh, Laura in Marietta, Georgia, who says, uh, Dear Craig, my boyfriend has been spending less and less time with me lately. Do you think I should dump him or wait to see if it changes? <laughs> nah, dump him. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what, what's the reason? I mean, if he's spending less time with you because he's working or something to try and get a better life for you guys, then I think that's okay. I think if he's spending less time with you because he has a mistress, I think that's okay too. <laughs> I'm European. I don't know. Um, I don't think you should be emailing late night talk show hosts for relationship advice. <laughs> Especially ones who have been married Dear Larry King, what should I do about it? Um, all right, this is from Kristen in, in Crystal Lake, Illinois. She says, uh, Craig, my five-year-old son recently informed me that all Scottish people are persnickety. Is this true? <laughs> no. Your five-year-old son is a racist. <laughs> Gotta catch it while they're young. Um, this is from uh, somebody. Uh, 
Du, 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 du. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Pamela in Fall River in uh, my Maryland. No, my, 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 my where? <laughs> Massachusetts, MA is Massachusetts? Why do I not know that? I'm an American citizen. <laughs> I did know that. I must have forgotten it. Oh, it's my sneakers. <laughs> I'm forgetting things. No, it's my age, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> right, this is from uh, Pamela in Fall River in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela says, uh, Dear Craig, did you have some frozen custard when you were in Vegas? What is your favorite flavor? I do like the frozen custard, uh, you know, spread over me by some kind of midget transvestite hooker. <laughs> in Vegas? <laughs> Not in anywhere else. It's all right if you do it in Vegas. It's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have frozen custard rubbed on me. That would be uncomfortable. Frozen. You want warm custard rubbed on you. <laughs> No, I didn't have any. I didn't have time. I was too busy trying out sneakers. <laughs> All right, this is from Jen in Boston. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat is scratchy. This is from Jen in Boston, which is in Massachusetts. M.A. from Massachusetts right there. That's, uh, that's Jen right there. I don't know if you can recognize her there. She's uh, it's a black and white photograph. Sometimes it's hard to make out. She says, Craig, I'm debating not paying my cable bill this month so I can get the new iPhone. Wow. What would you do in my situation? I can't condone the idea of not paying your bills. That's it. That would be illegal. Don't pay. <laughs> you have to pay your bills. <laughs> um, so you can get the new iPhone? I don't know. What's better, cable or iPhone? <coughs> Tough call. <laughs> Luckily, I'm right here on TV that's free. And you can get it, like, oh, do you know what? Actually, when I was coming back from Vegas, I stopped to get gas. Not because I had gas, to get gas. I don't stop if I have gas. <laughs> Unless I see someone who I thought would enjoy sharing it with me. Like, pull over by the side of the road. Hey, pull my finger! But, uh... I, uh, I stopped at uh, petrol, uh, petrol, you know, it's what my people call gas. So I stopped for <laughs> petrol? What did he say? Well, get my shotgun. Petrol? No. <laughs> I stopped to get petrol slash gas, right? And it, in the gas pump, there was a TV screen on it. And they were, there was, I was on the TV screen in the gas station. And I'm like, what? <laughs> It was awesome. I was like calling hobos over. Look, like I went into the you know the gas station bathroom. I got the serial killer out. I was like, look at this. He's like, Ugh. I, all the people from the truck stop all coming over, just like they always do. And that's why he gets the big bucks. Exactly so, Jeff. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. All right. I'm just looking at my sneakers and the thing, and I'm thinking, you know what I look like? I look like Ben Stein. <laughs> like a cross, a cross between Ben Stein and Ellen. <laughs> Ellen Stein. <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad, actually. <laughs> All right, uh, my first guest tonight is uh, here to celebrate. Celebrate? That means pluck. <laughs> He's here to celebrate the DVD release of Not the Messiah, He's a Very Naughty Boy, which is in stores on June the 8th. Take a look at this. Always look on the bright side of life. See? Always look on the light side of life. If life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. And that's the laugh and smile and dance and sing. If you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chaps. Just pass your lips and whistle. That's the thing. Hey, always look on the bright side of life. Do you know, that's 
cheered me right up already. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely legend that is Eric Idol, everybody. Eric Idol. I'm very happy. That. It's supposed to cheer you up. Not the Messiah. Cheer. He's a very naughty boy. Was this a, an evening in London or something? It, it was a. We, it's an oratorio we did with 240 musicians. The BBC it looks fantastic. It's very huge, impressive. Huge, yeah. very very big, and we. Uh, I persuaded some of the other uh, pythons to come along. Michael Palin came. Sarah Palin's... Um, uh, well, he came in full drag. He, he dressed he as Sarah Palin? He dressed in full drag, and he said he claimed to be the mother of a little-known governor of Alaska. Nice. <laughs> so let's nail that. You know, right. Terry Jones was there, Gilliam. You know, we, we just this very silly evening. And what does uh, or oratorio mean? An oratorio... Right, oratorio. Is, ...is a sung work. It's like a play, but done in a concert hall. So the Messiah is a sung work right. by Handel, and right. this is not the Messiah. Right. <laughs> but it's also sung, a lot of singing. What, like cats, but without the costumes? Without the cats, really. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you probably don't want cats in it. They, not in the, the Albert Hall. Do you know? No, they, they, had, they had cats in the Albert Hall once. It's the show or the real one? Real, a real cat. I think a real cat got in once. <laughs> <laughs> And you're going somewhere? No, no, oh, I just, I, I was just remembering oh, that, yeah, uh, that a cat <laughs> once turned up at the Albert Hall. Cause a it huge, was a Scottish night, because they was, weren't even wearing anything underneath the kilt, so no, it was a that's disaster. Right. And that's when you want to see a nice, comfortable cat. <laughs> I'm happy to see uh -oh. anyway. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I got nothing. By no. the way, these are sneakers. Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah look, look, those see. are, you know. Do you know we, that we could have a sneaker in? I mean, we can vote for people on Twitter. We're, you've got huge feet. Yeah, look at you. Uh, you want? I said you want to see my penis. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, well, or maybe you don't. Actually, I don't. No, no right, but thank yeah. you. For, thank well, you for take offering. my word for it. That's <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, I, I will. Right. Okay. So you did this in. Have you ever performed this in, in America? Yeah, we did it at the Hollywood Bowl a couple of years ago. Oh, right. Um, a lot of people, when they go to the Hollywood Bowl, I see when I go there, they smoke the uh, marijuana cigarettes. I've noticed that. Really? Yeah. That's just the audience. Yeah, it's the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a picnic, you know. They, you right. can go, it's a lovely place to sit. You have a picnic and, you know, and wine. I've always often had a quite too much to drink there. Really? Oh, quite a few times, yes. And that's just when I'm st on stage myself. <laughs> <laughs> It's very nice there. They have fireworks there during uh, the summer. We did it with fireworks. We did two nights running. We yeah. had like uh, 19,000 people and we did, we did, John wrote some fireworks music specially for it. So we did the Galaxy song to fireworks. Oh, that would be nice. And it was rather beautiful. Yeah, why, why didn't I uh, get invited? Uh, you're probably on hiatus, you call it, don't you? No, we don't have hiatus Or is it here. probation? No, no. <laughs> Might have been probation, but they but we, there's no hiatus. There's no seasonal thing I in late night. you were off night. last week. No, what? No, no hiatus. <laughs> no, they were encore performances. Oh, uh, they're what we call in TV oratoria, and what we do is <laughs> it's shows that have been proven popular before, so we showed them again. And you do the same words. Uh, yeah, I come out and do the same show again, basically uh -huh. with the same guests wearing the same outfit. Excellent. <laughs> like if you go and see a play, and then you go back the next night, it's the same play. I, I always think that's a waste of money going to see a play twice. <laughs> hey, um, I haven't seen you since uh, Stephen Fry's party. We went to a party and you were there with your lovely wife. Do you I remember? was there, and you were there with your lovely yeah, wife. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I and mean, then we swapped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mind that. It's just you gave us your kid. Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing fine. Good, good. We're teaching him Scottish. <laughs> that's good, good. <laughs> oh, I, I just scared myself there with that. that was, do you know what? I blame my sneakers. I feel like, do you think clothes make you behave irresponsibly, certain clothes? Because that's a very loud shirt. It is? It's yeah. a Paul Smith shirt. It's rather cool. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. It's a cool, cool shirt. Cool and meant loud. To say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it in London. I was just in London. Really? Yeah. How was that? Do you, uh, they have a rabbit in London, apparently, which swears very, very much. <laughs> On TV? Yeah, he's a cussing rabbit from North London called Sid. We I owe everything to the pythons, you know that, right? <laughs> well, we have a killer rabbit, obviously. Yes, yeah, the yeah, killer, yeah, rabbit, killer, killer rabbit, you have to yeah. ask the three questions. That was in uh, Holy Grail, wasn't it? It was indeed, and Spamalot, as we still remember. Oh, yeah. Now, is Spamalot on tour right now, then? It's coming on tour in, a, in the States, yeah. Right. 
Is it coming? Is it coming here? Uh, yes. Will I get uh, a ticket for it then? You get one ticket. If I go and buy it <laughs> yeah, using no, we money. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we would send you a ticket. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it in New York and it was very good. Yeah. You probably made a bit of money out of that. We made a bob or two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Well, it, was, it was very nice, yeah. yeah. You buy yourself a fancy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy more expensive friends now. I'm very right, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about it in It really LA, is, you know, I yeah. think, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Stephen Fry's gone back to England. He's not here anymore. Well, he was writing his autobiography. Another one? Yeah, so he had to go back and do a bit more living. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. And then he'll come back and write about it That's in Hollywood. That's very you know I mean? clever, yeah. Live a bit, write a bit, yeah. live a bit, write a bit. Yeah, nice. I'm going to do that. Yeah? In your well, diary? You can't really call this living. I'm going to have to go and do something else. <laughs> Would you ever have a talk show? No. Why not? Um, because you have to be on every day. I know. <laughs> well, no, you can put on oratorios sometimes. <laughs> Once a year. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? And yeah. we had a band. We had a pipe band in that, too. We had a royal pipe band come on. For the in the oratorio. What, what's a royal pipe band then? Well, they're from one of the jocks from the royal regiments. You know oh, what right. I mean? Well, jocks in America mean athletes, though. Yeah. Ah. Um, well, in it's England, a, it's a slightly derogatory term for Scottish people in England, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's rhyming slang. Sweaty socks, jocks. You know, it's, it means Scottish people. Sweaty socks, jocks with giant <laughs> feet. <laughs> Or yeah. Dr. Spox, you could call him. You Dr. Know. Spox? Yeah. Doctor, wasn't Dr. Spox the man that uh, invented heart surgery or something? Or was that... No, he did something about babies. Yeah. Babies... That he, was Mr. Spock. No, Mr. Spock didn't... He was on Star Trek, and Dr. Spock <laughs> replaced... But Mr. Uh, Spock was the gynecologist on Star Trek, wasn't he? That's right. <laughs> And Dr. Spock replaced uh, uh, babies with, no, hearts with babies. He would take people's hearts out and put a live baby inside them. <laughs> Which really uh, didn't work at all. No. Uh, that was Dr. Barnard. That doctor, no, that was the island of Dr. Moreau, wasn't it? Uh, all right, all right. The, the island of Dr. Moreau, that's where he turned... Uh, People into animals. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah, but I, I, I never, I always had a problem with that. Yeah? Yeah. Boring? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Have you ever uh, changed anyone into an animal? Uh, I, I change my wife now and again into an uh, animal. It, <laughs> it, it's usually when I say, you can go shopping, love. <laughs> really gets her going. By the way, my wife, I know you have a, a cell phone which has vibrate. Yes, yes I do. But my wife has a vibrator you can switch to phone. <laughs> that must be uh, embarrassing if you forget to switch over at the wrong moment. Well, it means she can take calls when, you know, certain, you know. <laughs> you don't miss that vital call, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Saying the shopping's in now. Where are you? Am I on speaker? Uh, <laughs> The, uh... <laughs> I scared myself again. Oh. Yeah, I scared myself. That's what the 4G stands for. You yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Hello, Eric. Oh. Yeah. It looks like the Messiah's not only a very naughty boy. Uh, Eric Idol, a very naughty boy. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Uh... Apologies to everyone who uh, has been watching the show since <laughs> since 2005, when we started. So thought I would throw that out there. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, my uh, next guest is in uh, Are We There Yet, which is Wendy's, uh, Wendy's, Wendy's. It's in the middle of the week on TBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. Can we talk for a second? Nick Persons wants to talk. This must be serious. Go ahead. You know I love you, right? Yes. What? Are you going to be coming to bed looking like this every night? What are you trying to say? During the day, you look like Halle Berry. But at bedtime, you turn into Tyler Perry. <laughs> of course, that's fiction. Please welcome Terry Crews, everybody, Terry Crews. Hey, Terry. Wow, wow. How you doing, my 
Hey, congratulations on the new show. I, do, I feel like a white man. <laughs> a white guy. I'm, I'm a black Eric Idol. Look at this. Why, 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 do you, why do you feel like a white guy? You know, because things are working, man. I'm kind of scared. You know? Uh, you know, everything's going my way. Right. I, I, it's weird, dude. I walk out of the house, birds are singing. I mean, the, the sun is shining a little brighter. Ain't that how it is for white people? <laughs> white people that are on strong antidepressants, sure. <laughs> No, 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 I, I, I can't speak for all white people, thank God. Uh, well, you got the sneaks on, man. Yeah, I got the sneaks. You Do you know why, actually? I went to uh, Foot Locker with my buddy, Jeff, who is not white. Okay. And I ended up getting four <laughs> pairs of sneaks and a pair of basketball shorts. This I don't know good. why. This is good, it's man. It's true. This yeah, is good. Yeah. You got the whole Justin Timberlake thing happening. Oh. See, no, I thought we were friends. Dude. I thought we were friends. No, what I, the hell? I like Justin, no, man. come on. Justin, Justin's got the whole, you know, he's... No. He's a cool white guy. See, I, I'm trying to tell you that Whoa! there are cool white guys no, out there. No, 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 no. Who can who can do the dance thing and he gets the sneaks in his suit? I mean, you, you could do it. I know you no, could do no, it. No, 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 no. I, I, Ellen DeGeneres. That's the look I'm going for. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. Okay. So listen, in the, uh, in the, uh, you, were you in the movie? You weren't in the movie, I'll be there yet. Uh, no, no, I wasn't. I, that was another black guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but, but look, Ice Cube called me literally after Everybody Hates Chris ended. A lot of people like that show. That's that why they canceled show, it. Yeah. That's why they let it yeah. go. <laughs> It and was. It was a great show. It was a good show, man. And uh, he literally was like, hey, man, you need a job? I was like, dude, I need a job. Uh, and he said, I want, we're going to do this TV series based on our movie, and we would love for you to play this guy. And, you know, me, cool. me being a dad and knowing what it's about, yeah. I said, yeah. How many kids you got now? I have five. Five. Ooh. Five Ooh. kids, man. Yeah. It's a lot, dude. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah. 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 I, got, I got stressed, man. Yeah, I, got, yeah. I had literally had the first two gave me like two ulcers a piece. So the, yeah. the last three, I'm waiting for them to hit their whole teen years. And yeah. I'm getting ready, man. I got the Metamucil but working. But doesn't it, doesn't it, doesn't it kind of ease up after like the first one, you're all nervous, and then by the fifth one, you're like, ah, you'll be good. Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, when, you, when, you, when the first one loses a leg, you're like, ah, that'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my first, actually, I'm a grandfather now. Stop it. I am a grandfather. No my way. oldest just had Congratulations. a little baby, little baby girl. Yeah. I know. That's fantastic. Well, I'm experiencing the best of, you know, the whole thing because, you know, with a, being a grandfather, you get all the good stuff and none of the bad. It's like you just play, play, and send them home. You know what I mean? That's my thing. So I'm enjoying this whole deal. Before, with my own kids, you play and then, yeah, and then you gotta talk to them. And then you gotta clean the poop. You know what I mean? So now it's like you clean the poop. Goodbye. You, no, you still have to clean the poop, Grandpa. No, I no, don't no clean Grandpa's the poop. still gotta clean. It's just, it's just your own poop. You gotta. You know. <laughs> like, oh no! Uh, I'm trying to be the baddest, youngest grandfather ever, though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Watch out. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's my shtick. I have to do this. Everywhere I go, I have to do that one at least once. And I'm good. I can only do I can only do that with my penis. <laughs> that's why you went. Justin Timberlake does that no, too. No, man, no. Justin does no. exactly that thing. No. You just got back from Vegas, I heard. I did, yeah. I yeah. hate Vegas. Yeah, really? Why? I hate it's the only place more fake than LA. It's uh, literally, I mean, it's, it's got the hotel, the whole thing. I'm too big for Vegas. I lean up against something, I knock down a hotel. It's yeah. Like, it's, it's the fakest place alive, dude. You I, know what? It, it, was, it was 110 degrees when I was there. 110 degrees. People were like, it's a dry heat. I'm like, what's that coming to go? <laughs> uh, a dry heat? I know, I know. Oh, See, I, 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 I don't do good in the heat either. Really? Oh, yeah, it's just, just when it's too hot. You're I, from I will Michigan, explode. right? Yeah, you just can't get it's, Yeah, it's I'm cold from Michigan, Michigan. The whole thing is a cooler thing. When it's just too hot, I'm telling you, I, Do you, I don't you gamble or anything when you go to Vegas? You well, know? I hate losing. See, because then, you know, when they take my money, I give them that face, like, oh, and then, yeah. they, then they have three guards that give me that face back, and I'm like, all right, I got to go. <laughs> do that thing where yeah, you're, yeah, 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 It doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. They have guns. They do yeah. like this. Oh, no, they go like that? And, they, and then I have or to leave, and they escort me out. So that's one reason why I hate Vegas. But, you, but what do you play when you lose then? You know, I, I play blackjack for a little bit, the whole thing. I, but see, I'm the kind of guy, when you have too many kids, you always forget the rules. Every time I play a game, I'm like, man, I have to relearn it. You know what I mean? Right. And so once I get good, and you always have, so I always have beginner's luck. 
and then by the end of the night, it's all over. It's like, well, that's what I you got. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, Terry. That's yeah. the whole idea. <laughs> that's no, the I'm, whole idea. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. No, no, no. I, 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 I kind of, I, I quite like Vegas because. Um, I stayed at the the Venetian, you know the Venetian. Yeah, it's yeah. like Italy. If uh, Italy was on the surface of Mars. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's fake Italy. Do, uh, you know, it's like the fake New York. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, but the fake New York looks fake. The fake Italy, I think, it looks a little better, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Cause, uh, <laughs> it's Did New you do the gondola yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, Did yeah, you yeah. Do that? The fake New York, it doesn't have the smell of pee pee. <laughs> it doesn't. Have, like, oh, no. No. It's not quite the same. No, no. it's weird. It's weird. Mm. They're gonna have a fake Vegas inside of Vegas, which is that. Would, you know, uh, that would be kind of postmodern and ironic. <laughs> I like that. Vegas, a Vegas Vegas hotel in Reno. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there too. Yeah, yeah. you like Reno? Uh, you know, I I did something in Reno one time, and I remember walking into my hotel room, and it was a. I didn't know there was a, a bathtub in the middle of the floor, and I fell in. I was walking, and I. Kind of fell into this the thing tub. you did in Reno. Was this thing a drug? The, no, <laughs> it was early in my career, uh -huh. and uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. I mean, I'm kidding. It's a joke, guys. No, <laughs> you're not kidding. no, you're not. If kidding. it ever comes up on YouTube, no. Okay, just. Oh, uh, really? I, no, it really wasn't. No. Was it some? Did it involve it, this? It, it, yeah. I got secrets, man. Yeah, I got I, no, secrets. No, I hear you. It's all right. It's okay. Your secret's safe here. It's look, come on. <laughs> But listen, congratulations on the new show. Good luck Thank with you. it. It's Thank good to you. see you again. I'm always happy to see you. Take Cruz, you everybody. Guys, I love you, Chris. Right if you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 213-833-6469. Oh, those cats, it was like an oratorio there, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, I feel a little vulnerable about the show tonight. I, I, I had the scratchy throat and the sneakers on. I don't, I don't know how it went. I mean, I think the guests were fine. I think Eric was good, and I think Terry was good. I, I think I might have sucked a little bit more than usual. <laughs> And I've got that, my, it's my throat, the, what do they call it, Vegas throat? I've got Vegas throat. By the way, Vegas throat is the name of a movie, which I've, <laughs> which I've just had an idea for. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and pitch it. That's how they say it in Hollywood, I'm gonna pitch my idea. <laughs> I was never any good at it, hence this. Anyway, what did we learn? We learned that an oratorio is, uh, uh, I didn't really know what it is. So it's like uh, cats, but with no cats. <laughs> sounds good, actually. I, <laughs> so, sounds pretty good. I, actually, I was watching the, on the, the cable last night. Oh, yeah, I've got it. And there was, in one of the channels, there was Cats. It was on the, the film of the Cats, the musical. I'd never seen Cats before because, you know, I'm not actually gay. And I... <laughs> I, I saw this, like, maybe 10 minutes of this, uh, maybe the most successful uh, musical in the history of musicals, and I watched a bit of it, and I went, I clearly am out of step with the rest of the human race, because this is dog... I got up. Uh, so, uh, listen, I don't want to rain on anybody's parade. If you enjoy cats or vampires with feelings, good for you. That's great. I, I, I clearly don't belong in that category, though. I belong in the people who go, no. No, no to singing guys wearing cat outfits. No to that. That's not right. Um... But yeah, I, I suppose, listen, you know, if you like it, that's great. Well, I don't mean to rain on your parade. I'm not harshing your mellow, all right? If you like singing cats, great, good for you. That's, just don't ask me to go to your meetings. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't mean to be, and if you like the vampires with feelings, awesome, awesome. That's great, good, great. Everybody should have something, you know? <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool, you know, because I've got sneakers on. I'm a cross between Ben Stein and Ellen. We're out of time. So I'll have to continue my apology tomorrow. It's apology week. We should have a graphic. All right, we got to go. Good night, everybody. Good night.